Minstrel sang but yesterday of Thatcher and of Tebbit. I sing today of zero hours and universal credit. Oh, it's your sale, Ella. Oh, it's your sale, Mary. How's it going? Any luckies? Yeah. A packet soup, a stale yum yum, and a bashed in tin without a label. Could be kidney beans, could be custard. Either way, it'll go with chips. Can you sign every job yet? No. But even now, I'm heading up the Job Centre Plus, where I have the utmost faith in my future. You have your heat. <laughs> oh, see. Oh, me also. I suffer from shagger's hip, but I too am determined not to let it get in the way. Wonderful new career for me, perhaps as a leading IT consultant or as a cleaner of pub lavies. Oh, my. I've got my name down to train as an astronaut with NASA, for I hear that Poundland are opening a new branch on Pluto and maybe taking on time travellers for work fair. Super. <laughs> Corn beef and prunes, Nana. Food bank roulette, hen. Them's the breaks. <laughs> so, have you thought any more about you know what? Oh, look, hen. I'm skint. I can't afford it. Have you seen the state the world's in today? But that's my point. Can I see the state the world's in? But I could if I had enough money to go on the school cruise. Go on, Nana. It's only a grand. What? A grand? Oh, why did you no say? I went and take it out my purse, will you? And see while you're at it, open the window, cos your grand will be landing soon in my helipad. But Nana, it's going to Sweden, and you promised. I know, Hen. We just can't afford it. Look, you're only 16. There'll be plenty of other chances. Wait, oh, watch me whack. Get your drawers off, I'm depressed. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's yourself. <laughs> where's, where's Grandad's kiss? Only a mother's love is given freely. All else is conditional. You've been reading that online wisdom again, eh? Listen, every time somebody posts a wise saying on Facebook, an angel chokes on his own vomit. Mrs Nesbitt, I'm finished. Who's this, Walloper? He's from the council, Rab. Would you both come with me? Please. So, uh, what are we doing in this bedroom? And study. Oh, aye, uh, uh, study. And what exactly do you study? Uh, dugs, horses, <laughs> lottery numbers. <laughs> My work is never done. <laughs> so it's not a spare bedroom, then? Spare bedroom, spare bedroom, is he? Have you got a dictionary, Mary? Oh, oh, it, it's an extra room that rich folk have, Rab, for kipping in. <laughs> My goodness me, the way the other half live. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 this room is vital for my studies. You still don't qualify and for... And garage. He, he parts his disability motor here. <laughs> I tell you, it's murder getting it up them stairs. <laughs> Don't embarrass yourselves by treating me like a fool. The use of this room is clear. See? To here, to there. Which makes me wonder what I'd find if I opened this door. I wondered where I'd put that. <laughs> That's a pity. I was going to ask him for a lift. A lift? Hey, where are you going? Oh. <laughs> I despair of your society. I sat up in Cadogan Street, right? And they called me, me, a malingerer. No, oh, you're a malingerer. I refute that. I told them a first-class hand-picked pack of lies. And I also had signed testimonials for three jailed councillors and a highly respected dodgy lawyer, right? And still, they turned me down. Well, that's it. 
Roll on independence. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our disability living allowance. Do I detect a hint of satire? Half the folk in our street have been assessed. Most of them are genuine. Unlike the boy in the bubble there. Oh, well, that's right. Eh? Blame the victim. Lying is an illness. I struggle with it daily. Fair enough. Fair enough. He is despicable. I'll give you that. But, I mean, he's got a point, hasn't he? Even useless bastards like us, well, we've got to eat. Respect. No, oh, no, I'm not touching that. That's your chugging horn. <laughs> The time was when Shaylet like me was treated with dignity, yeah. What year were you born, by the way? 1980. That's the very year people in this country went on a right to work march. I mean, fair enough, fair enough. They were misguided, delusional pumps. <laughs> I'll tell you, it is time we get some of that fighting spirit back, boy. Yeah. I mean, we might be wasters, right? but, but we're all such human beings. And it's, it's up to us to get out there and prove it. How? How? How did that? I'll bloody well show you how. <laughs> we demand the right not to work. Do you all know there is not enough jobs to go around? So if you want to stop us scum flooding the jobs market and driving down your wages, pay us livable benefits. Yay! We vow to spend money on highly taxed items, like fags and booze, <laughs> thereby keeping the money in circulation. And as an added wee bonus, we promise to die before the pension age. Has he got permission to demonstrate here? Just a random nutter, sir. Flash mob! <laughs> Flash! Look at bastards. Dean, <laughs> zero tolerance. Arrest those key. Yes, sir. Oh, did it? Busy alert! Every scum don't play it! Yes, you I'm bloody sick of it. I'm sick of it. Tell me about it. <coughs> Do you know all we got out of that food bank? <coughs> a tin of a Betty spaghetti. Bastard, I think she'd been in a museum. <laughs> I took it straight back up there and I spelled out F off and spaghetti on the counter. <laughs> it, was, it was F on, actually, because I'd run out of Fs. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, Peaches is looking for money for a school cruise. Tell her to go and work for it. I don't know. Kids these days. We never got to go on the school cruise. No, and it was a blessing. Travel broadens the mind. That's the last thing Glasgow needs. Thousands of jakeys stoking about the place with expanded minds. <laughs> you never let me finish. We never get going. But she's gone, boy. How do you mean? Get that. I have the notice board that has that. It was an unwanted gift. <laughs> Where the hell do you think I got it? The punctured Derham's pub. Shh! Give me a voice thing. It's a wee bit Jack the Hat McVitty, as it know. I think she'd be up in the museum lying with spaghetti hoops. <laughs> Maybe old, but I'll still do the job. It's your boys. What job? Are you in? Or are you out? <laughs> in. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> hey, my colleague and I 
are actually on our way to the carnival in Venice. We are pals of the Doge, him and his wife, Mrs Doge. <laughs> and we would uh, actually for it like to make a withdrawal so that we can go and see St uh, Mark's Basilica and gaze on its scenic splendour while sitting on our asses with a case of lager between our feet. <laughs> Do you have a card and some ID? Oh, what card? ID? Oh... <laughs> Difficult. Sadly not. No, but we do have this. Oh, my God, he's got a gun. Fill that bag, Siobhan. Mr Farley, what'll I do? Don't do any such thing, Siobhan. Colleague, let him have it. I do not want to have to do that. <laughs> and see why not. You two are pathetic. Colleague, have you still got a hammer in your back pocket? I have. I mean... Colleague, put in a shaft, bang him out of the desk and ram it right up his head front. <laughs> we will upload it onto the net. <laughs> Maybe it'll go viral. <laughs> you might even get onto RootTube. Oh, Sean, <laughs> fill the bag? Yes, please. No problem. Very smart decision, I might say. Here's a wee sweetie for you. <laughs> well, sadly, we must be going. The Medicis have actually asked us up the palace for Kaiser crisps and a wee minuet. So, <laughs> chahau the new. <laughs> chahau. The Building Society was robbed at around 3pm today. Police Scotland are looking for two men, Rab Nesbitt and James Allen <laughs> investigations. <laughs> I just don't understand how the busies got on here so fast. <laughs> Where did you get that lassie behind the counter? None. Just a sweetie. Was it one of your grooming sweeties? <laughs> yeah? The ones with your phone number right on the wrapper? <laughs> Aye. Yeah, dozy bastard. Eat it at your Aye, get your butts at the coat now, mon. Have her? Just what's wrong? No, for being a pair of cheap blag and wallopers. Get out my pub, the pair of you. You're giving this place a bad name. Oh, catch a grip of yourself. It was a victimless crime. Your arse. You've stood at that bar for years ranting on about the bankers. I give you half a chance and you're greasing up your podgy digits and rolling around in the trough like the rest of them. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Any lower and you'd get a knighthood. Eh, uh, stood in the bus. I've got my pride. <laughs> it's the way we roll, sweetheart, you know. Deal with it. You don't roll, you slither. <laughs> I'm surprised at you, Rob. So you're skint, big wow. So's the whole of govern. But try helping other folk rather than lining your own pockets. Right, out! Give me 20 minutes and I'll come back with a witty ad lib, you know. See, a scumble. Ethics is a queer thing, you know. I mean, if somebody calls me shite, <laughs> I'm happy because, well, I've fulfilled my contractual obligations, so to speak. <laughs> but when somebody says they expected better of me, well, that, that is when the flaming spear of human decency lodges in my sphincter, you know. <laughs> I mean, see that, Jeanette? She's actually just a moaning-faced bitch, but well, <laughs> she got me thinking. And having thunk, this is what I've come up with. <laughs> you see that? You see that there? <laughs> to this day, I still get a spiritual hard on when I hear the thunk of that arrow <laughs> into that tree. It is never too late to unfry or tuck yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Mary, it's me. Uh, there's been a wee bit of an incident, you know. Um, did you see that bit on the telly? What the hell are you playing at? 
I send you up the food bank for a loaf, and the next thing you're on the news for blagging a building society. What the hell's going on? I'm up the woods in the park. What? Cotter's Row started up that coven again, has it? <laughs> no. I can't come home, can I? The busy's know where I live. Oh, tell me about it. They've been round here twice already. What the hell's going on? Well, I thought I'd turn over a new leaf and the woods seemed the right place to do it. <laughs> I'm actually going to become the Robin Hood of Govan. Sorry. This must be a bad line. I thought you said you were going to be... Aye, the Robin Hood of Govan. You heard right. <laughs> I'm going to fight social injustice and overturn the capitalist hegemony. Well, see when you've done that. Going to bring us back that loaf. What's the matter, I've got to go, I've got to go. I'm interviewing staff here. <laughs> so, you have applied for the position of merry man. Correct. There's only one wee fly in that particular ointment, to wit, you're no very merry. In fact, you're a miserable wee bastard. That, that was when Jamesy podgered my wife. I've cheered up a lot since then. Objection, I merely flicked his wife's bean. If you can't celebrate when Andy Murray wins Wimbledon, when can you? Here, here, here. Now, I can't have dissent in the ranks. Could you live with being a cuckold? Oh, I. I was a Rangers supporter during the Craig White era. I used to be in gang banged. So, uh, what kind of salary are you expecting? Oh, I'm in demand. I've already been offered work fair at a salary of absolutely nothing. Oh, well, there's, uh, there's no way we could match a figure like that. <laughs> you better get your silly foot. I don't understand. This isn't about the money. I'm sick of sitting in my onesie, staring out the window at the drizzle. Being a merry man isn't a job, it's a social duty. Andra of Burley Street is with you. Well, in that case, what are we waiting for, eh? Hey? There you go, boy. <laughs> Let's get too right in to the hated capitalist system. Very man, to your weapon. Uh, well, can I just point something out here? The capitalist system has got trident missiles and unmanned drone aries, while we have got leafy sticks. <laughs> Are you questioning my leadership? Depends. Do you think I might get my neck king out of this? <laughs> possibly. In that case, I am not questioning your leadership. To the barricades! Hello! I'm still shaking. The pure came out of nowhere, said they were establishing a, a new world order, and asked me where I kept the Vimto and Sherbet lemons. <laughs> they were quite old. When they made me empty the till, I was like that. Then I was like that. <laughs> then I went back to being like that again. <laughs> it all happened so... Quickly? No, slowly. Like I said, they were old. <laughs> One of them tried to give me their number on a sweetie wrapper, but the leader asked stopped him. Do you have any clues to their identity? They were all wearing hoodies. The big mental one was a gaffer. He called himself Rab in Hoodie. <laughs> it's believed this is the same violent gang that recently held up a building society. Police say these men are dangerous and, if spotted, should not be approached. Fear not. Fear not. I am Robin Hoodie. And this is my merry man, Little Jimsy. You know that the little is ironic. I am hung like a derby winner. <laughs> we have vowed to eradicate social injustice. And to take arms... You have to speak up, son. Some of us hear an oral shortfall. Listen, he, here's the deal, right? <laughs> this country is going down the lavy pan. Right? And see us scum. We are getting blamed for knocking all the toilet rolls. It's no your fault, son. We've all worked hard all our lives. And for what? To end up in this... Exactly, brother. Exactly. And our message to the government is this. You can keep your benefits. You can stuff them. If they're begrudged, we don't want them. We, the people, will not be controlled by mere spondulics. We disdain money. Hi, 
I knew, mate, that we didn't. <laughs> Get your paws off the crinkles, you rickety legged midnight. <laughs> This latest attack is said to be politically motivated and the work of the self-styled Rabin Hoodie. Outside Govan Police Station, we have Chief Superintendent Murdo Cromer. Chief Inspector, what can you tell us? This is the sort of urban terrorism against which the public need to be protected. And I give Glasgow this assurance. I will attack the public with maximum force in order to protect it. You say you're protecting the public, but Rabin Hoodie is gathering a lot of popular support, is he not? Nonsense. <laughs> Wherever I go, ordinary, decent people support the police and our ongoing efforts to rid the city of these... <laughs> ...animals! So, uh, what's your star sign? <laughs> no, no, don't tell me, don't tell me. Let me guess. Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> no, no offence, no offence, it's just that the wife's a right cow as well, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, let me gaze into your eyes. Ya yeah, dirty bastard! <laughs> Five minutes, five minutes, and the next thing you're fond on the bloody wildlife. <laughs> I was just talking to you. It's pet therapy. <laughs> and anyway, we can't stay in these woods forever, you know. This is Scotland. It'll be July soon. We could freeze to death. <laughs> you think I don't know that? You think I don't know that? That's why I have plans for the future. What plans? Civil disobedience. Uh, riot and that kind of thing. We play with cards right. Government could get a theme park out of this. Yeah. <laughs> you. You could be on a reality TV show. Yeah. I mean, do you not want to be the object of ridicule in a low-budget documentary? <laughs> I dream of being the object of ridicule in a low-budget documentary. Well, remember, we are a team. That, that means keeping more shape, keeping more discipline. And that also means keeping your mitts up at anything that moves. This is our once-in-a-lifetime chance to, to haul ourselves out the gutter. Do you really want to mess that up? for the sake of a pair of others. <laughs> You're right, Ram. It's never, never. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, <laughs> riding through the glen. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, with his band Thinking of changing your debts into one single easy repayment? Well, try Rab Loans. Simply run a gun up a shop assistant's arse and get 10K instantly. <laughs> Oh, hen. Yeah. Never mind the food bank. Get your ass up to waitress. Take it, take it, go. <laughs> Come on, Rob. <laughs> take a taxi. Plenty of time to sing. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. Calling all students, workies, and unemployed company The Paris buttons are on Robin Hood. <laughs> Jamesy! Jamesy! Get a driver! Get a driver! Under, under the door! <laughs> People of the bus, be not afraid. We, we come not to harm you or to mischief make. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know you. You're that guy off the TV news. You're Rabin Hoodie. Well, I, uh. I may be Robin Hood, but sadly, I'm also a Robin Bastard. But you don't have to take our money. We'll give it to you, willingly. We were all just talking about you. We so appreciate what you're doing, don't we, everyone? Yes! Oh, well, in that case, let our dear Queen's Heed hit our traditional Scottish little bags. <laughs> Oh, oh, thank Robin you very much, sir. That's right, lovely. Oh, what's the other? Robin Hood, Robin Hood, with his band of men, feared by the bad, loved by the good, Robin Hood. Well, thanks for meeting me, Mary. Oh, nay bother. <laughs> Louise. 
I know the readers in my column will be fascinated to learn about the woman behind Robin Hoodie. <laughs> well, sometimes I'm behind him, other times I'm in front of him, dragging him home by his ankles. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm that proud of him, though. <laughs> well, you should be proud of yourself, too. How do you mean? Well, if he's Robin Hoodie, you know what that makes you. What? Maid Marian. Maid Marian? <laughs> well, that's went straight to my nips. <laughs> Give me the skinny. What's Prick Turpin been up to now? Local telly, radio features, stories in the papers. Oh, Christ. He's given out £50 notes for food parcels. Being good to people. That old trick. I'll stop at nothing, the slimy bastard. But that's not the bad part. Christ. <laughs> There's two of them. But not for long, sir. We're on to them. I know. I'm a shooty. But see, when I come back, I am going to unleash my wand of passion and make hot. Are you steamy. talking to your wife? Don't be repulsive. I'm talking to his wife. Ask her what's for dinner. We're starving here. Uh, Babette, uh, listen, the busies are everywhere and we can't show face, so could you smuggle us or some? Aye, all right. She can't come on. She's watching a box at a downtown abbey. I bought her that. Maybe we could kill a coo. He's only touching Rihanna. God, <laughs> <laughs> it's an animal. Don't get sentimental. She might be an animal to you, but she's the only thing that's kept me sane in this wilderness. She, Jamesy. <laughs> Listen, would it, would, it, would it make a difference to you if I was to point you that Rihanna does not have udders? She has bollocks. <laughs> that doesn't alter anything. I believe in gay marriage, and if a couple love each other... <clears throat> I believe in gay marriage, too. But, but society has yet to take that first breakthrough step that will allow us to, to stow about the countryside willy-nilly podgering the wildlife. <laughs> Let alone sticking a ring in its hoof and taking a mortgage out in a coo shed and joint names are you with me? Aye. You're saying I'm ahead of my time. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Jimsy. That's what I'm saying. I... One day... Shh. What is it? Tight. Tight. A bird's just crossed her legs in Cessna. <laughs> Can you imagine it? Oh, he's right. I heard something too. I suppose. How did they find us? The bloody mobile phones! They traced the mobile signal! What we do, Rab? Should we gear ourselves up? Never! Never! We will stand here and we will hold our ground. But first, get yourself the fuck. <laughs> How bright we shine, how fast we run at the dawning of the day. But as the night descends on us, our fears come out to play. We can't go on with like us. Listen, it's, it's, it's important here to keep our spirits up. Here's another one. <laughs> Who said, if you think you're too small, you make a difference. Try sleeping with a mosquito. Who would want to sleep with a mosquito? You, after three pints. <laughs> it was a dull aisle, all right. Dull aisle. All right, all right, fair enough. It wasn't was one of his best ones. In fact, she come to think it. I hate this specky wee bastard. Cutting about in a pair of living room curtains, dispensing wisdom over the shop. Gunny, shut up! A bit of Dalai Lama! <laughs> it's them again. How's it been? Did you phone him? No, it was an accident. My, my, my phone was in my back pocket. It was an R3 dial. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was an accident. I miss my wife. I know what you mean. I miss his wife, too. Fed up being a merry man. 
and I'm fed up with rabbit bloody hideous. Why is this it, boys? The business is closing in on us. We have one last chance. One last chance at a dirty big black. And then we get the hell out of Dodge with the proceeds. Hey. What do you think, Mary? It's green. Ah. Does that make it healthy? Some things are born green, Ella. Others of greenness thrust upon them. <laughs> Have you heard any Murphy Rab? Oh, he was on the phone last night. He still promised that he'd get peaches of money for that school cruise of hers. Oh, I'm just worried sick about how he's going to get it. My mother used to talk about wartime rationing. Nowadays, it's much worse. I know. Who'd have thought that giant bins like this would end up being kinder eggs for scum, eh? Ray Mears should do a show about govern folk surviving in the wild. Eh? <laughs> Any takers? <laughs> Give them six months, eh, Mary? What is it, Mary? Are you all right? God forgive me, Ella. I think I've come up with an idea. What is it? Rationing. Waste not, want not, eh? You sure this will work? Do you want a third act to your lives, or do you know? Not for sentin' like the first two. How do we know which one to take? Shh! Keep your voice in, for God's sake. Andra, to your post. All right, Rap. Listen, I don't know a can of let off for a can of spaghetti. We are going to have to narrow things down a bit here. We will use our stealth and our cunning. Watch this. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, Paul. <laughs> Uh, my uh, colleague and I are a couple of art connoisseurs through for Chukar Hill, you know. <laughs> and we were just wondering which one of these exhibits is actually priceless and which ones are just a pile of old keek that you'd fling at your granny's shoes after she'd been funded behind the door kind of style. <laughs> well, in, in terms of value, I suppose the Rembrandt is the most... Uh, sorry, do I know you? Hey. Uh, oh, well, very possibly, yes. I'm, uh, I'm actually the host of that popular afternoon television show, A Wife in the Attic. Cash in the Attic. Cash <laughs> in the Attic. <laughs> and my colleague here has actually had his penis exhibited on the Antiques of Roadshow. Well, of course, I'd never sell it. It's been in a family too long. <laughs> so, um... Playful incest jokes aside, uh, very gently, which one is the, the Rebrand? <laughs> Rembrandt. Oh, yes. It's just there. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, I love his tables. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> but see his uh, three-piece sweets, they bring tears to my eyes. <laughs> Rembrandt was actually a painter. It's just up there. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. His, uh, his rotten period, my favourite. Excuse me, gentlemen. What, Jamesy? A fiendish switcheroo. <laughs> Charles Satchy did it. He, he throttled me and ran away. Great news. Go on. My producer loves your idea. You're kidding? I return to wartime economics. Hard-pressed women making use of everything around them. She thinks it'll make a great feature for the magazine show. Yes! Get it right, right yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a delightful surprise. <laughs> Just one question. I mean, we know how interesting your recipes are in theory, but do they work in practice? I thought you might ask me that. 
Diddy! On you go. Do you like crispy duck? Oh, yes, very much. Well, you'll love this. It's crispy rat. <laughs> Question. Did the fact that this Rembrandt painting looks nothing like a Rembrandt and does not even consist of paint <laughs> not alert your suspicion? I know how this looks. And a further clue, designed by the great artist B and Q. <laughs> That's what drew my attention. That and the blue tack at the corners. Hasty gave us a full description, sir. We know exactly who we're looking for. All we need to know now is where to find them. Well, that's simple enough. If you're a governed scumball with a Rembrandt stuck up your funnel, where would you go to offload it? There's only one place. Correct, Amundo. Granda? Listen then. Years ago, I, I wanted to go on the school cruise. The name of the boat was uh, Navasa. That name is still engraved in the big old walnut that passes for my heart. I never made it. But you will. What? Listen, I'm meeting a wee man doing the docks tomorrow morning. You be there. You mean it? Granda, please don't be a fanny merchant. <laughs> don't maybe troll you on Twitter. Granda. The more a hen, the more a crew. Took the bait, sir. We're closing in. Well, <laughs> takes me back my school days. Standing in an alleyway with an old master between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hello. Aye, 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 it's me. Yeah, of course I've got the painting. <laughs> if you get the money. What? Ste step forward and reveal myself. OK, OK, we'll go, yeah, we'll go. Stepping forward now. <sighs> it's never a dull moment being scum, is it? Hey, one minute you're queuing up for an Atos test. Crazy. <laughs> the next minute... You're an art thief <laughs> in the Errol Flynn of Pollock Shaws. <laughs> <laughs> the things we do for love. Granda! Beaches! Granda! Beaches! <laughs> oh, for fuck's <laughs> Hello, Robin. I'm the big bad sheriff. You think you're going to stop me, don't you? I'll tell you this, boy. See my merry men? My merry men are out there. All right, Rob. <laughs> they look gay, Rob. <laughs> On occasions like these, I normally make a big showboating speech. You know, something along the lines of... It's a far, far better thing I do now than I've ever done before, sort of style, but, well, sometimes words just don't say enough. <laughs> Hello, Nana. Where are you? Where I'll always be, Hen. Oh, Nana. <laughs> I suppose you just can't always get what you want, eh? Ah, never you mind, then. I'll tell you what. You want to see me make an arse of myself on the telly this morning? Might cheer you up. Aye, yeah, why no? Today on The One Show, we'll have fun, sun, song and testicular cancer. But first, I'm a social rebel, Mary Hoodie Nesbitt. In these harsh times, Mary has some urban recipes that absolutely anyone can afford. Am I right? Oh, yes, that is correct, Louise. Take the urban fox, and I do mean take it. 
Just grab one by the throat, <laughs> then batter it out of the head with an empty ginger bottle till it staggers, then falls. Then drag it him, bung it in the blender, and voila! There we have it. Fox in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Another quick idea is bin lid tempura. Very popular in Germany after the war. Just take one bin lid from a top quality restaurant and your man's old chib. Then scrape the glabber off into delightful slivers. Any other tips, oh. Mary? Yes, indeed, Louise. Shoplifting. Now, those dirty, great, deep, big pockets of your uh, granny. I think old... that's all we've got time for. <laughs> Moving on. I get it. I should just learn my place, right? Except that we're both just a couple of losers. Speak for yourself, hen. See, after that one out, I got a phone call for a publisher, and he wants to put a photo of Mary Hoodie on the front cover of a new cookbook for the unwaged. So I said, all right, pal. A grand in a hand, and it's yours. And what did he say? <laughs> Look at that. You see that? That is a boarding pass for that dirty great big cruise ship over there that's leaving in ten minutes. <laughs> well, have you got nothing to say? Aye, but you better cover your ears. You fucking dancer! <laughs> well, oh, you go quick, quick, go wait for you. Peachy, bye! The game was played, the race was run, the sheriff won the hunt. No sympathy for Rab and C, for the judge he was a... <laughs> Are you sure this is going to work? Of course it's going to work. <laughs> Worked for the Count of Monte Cristo, didn't it? Aye, aye. But he made an ass here. He ended up burning into the cell next door. Ah, uh, well, that's, that's where we're smarter. Your cell is right on the end. <laughs> you throw this through, Rab. And one floor up. <laughs> one floor up. <laughs> I'll put the sewage tank! Yeah. 